got a check engine light. Um, it's a permanent fault. Um, I got my OBD2 tester on it. It's uh, it's it says I have three codes. Got two oxygen sensor codes and one evap vent code. We have a code for bank one upstream and we also have a code for the bank two. Bank one is located right here in front and I ordered that one so I'm going to replace the bank one. I have the Denzo part, Denzo part number 234-4355. Ordered off Amazon, $33 plus tax. Came with a little tube of anti-seize, um, which is good because I don't have any. It's a tight squeeze, so you're going to have to remove uh, this shroud. So you're going to have to pop up all these little buttons and take the shroud off. Okay, I got the old one off, and now I'm going to put the anti-seize on a new one and then install the new one. You're probably going to have to take off the uh, coolant recovery overflow because it's really tight to get in there. Very tight space. Okay, you got the anti-seize on the new one on the threads. I'm going to smooth it out and then I'm going to install it. You shouldn't try to do this job without an O2 socket. You can get them at Harbor Freight for $7.99. Makes it a lot easier and you don't have to remove as much um, parts because it's really tight down there. Okay, the uh, the oxygen sensor in the front and the top of top of the uh, Cadillac converter is actually the uh, the uh, downstream, and they have different connectors. So the one I had was the uh, upstream. So now I got both. So I'll be able to use this one when I get ready to do the downstream. So upstream's in the front. Downstream location of the downstream oxygen sensor. Okay, job all done. Um, just remember that uh, all the oxygen sensor uh, wrenches are the same size, 7 eighths, and uh, also equivalents to uh, 22 millimeter. Um, good luck.